this was great. Michael Yakino, thank you so much for putting yourself in the director's chair and having such a clear vision for this because I really enjoyed this. Hey everyone, welcome back to Canon Cinema. I'm Amanda, otherwise known as AMX NDA Reviews on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Today I will be reviewing the new spooky Marvel special presentation, Werewolf by Night, directed by Michael Yakino. You may think that that name sounds familiar. Of course, he's one of the greatest composers of all time. And not only did he compose this wonderful score for this special presentation for Marvel, he directed this. Now that's really important because he has a very clear vision for what he wanted to do with Werewolf by Night. And I'm not familiar with these comics. However, we need to tap into this underworld, this monster verse in the MCU because I genuinely think it is one of the most fascinating things and if they're going to do a throwback to monster movies like Michael Iacchino did in this we are going to have a freaking blast because this was fantastic from beginning to end there are no loose ends the characters are introduced properly we have Jack who is played by Gal Garcia Barnell and he is our werewolf by night and it's really interesting how they show the duality between his human character and then him turning into a werewolf. I think that that's what horror movies are missing sometimes. It's the human aspect, the relatability to these characters that makes them grounded and makes you feel for them. It's really strong that we got to see Jack as a human first and then morph into his uh his werewolf side it wasn't a full moon because apparently the bloodstone that is presented in this story rapidly changes uh him within seconds instead of days within a full moon within five days like that so that is being presented in this as well but the reason why that this works is because it's such a simple story it's about these five people going to one location to fight off a monster in order to get the bloodstone and that's it. It's very simple. But it is elevated by the incredible, incredible visuals. The cinematography is next level by Zoe White. She was absolutely fantastic. Michael Iacchino and Zoe White really worked together in the best way possible because of the way they wanted to move through this maze. It was a town, but it kind of looked like it was a maze. Everything about the camera movements, it was really slow. Characters would come into the frame, stay on them for a bit, move off. And then it would create that tension because the score would come in slowly and creep up on you. And those music cues are really important, especially in monster films. And I think that Again, this throwback to an old-fashioned monster movie is something so unique and different. I love the black and white. That aesthetic really worked for this story. I don't want to ruin the ending. Uh, the ending was really special to me because of the reference that it made, and I thought it was fantastic. It was such a nice touch because it came in at the right time, and then it changed uh, for that ending, but it also left it open ending. It was more of like, this is a, you know... What typical night for uh, for Jack and uh, and his werewolf nature. So it was a typical night. I absolutely loved Laura Donnelly in this as Elsa Bloodstone. I thought she was fantastic. She's gorgeous. I think that she really uh, brought that classic Hollywood look into this movie just to tie everything perfectly together. I love that when there's one scene, the action scenes were really strong, the makeup, the special effects, all of that really worked in one particular scene when obviously the werewolf changes. Again, shadows, the lighting, the black and white was really effective because you don't fully see him forming as you would in another, like a more recent one to show off those, uh, you know, the VFX and that. But the thing is, is that it's more of the feel of it. You don't have to see things. It's how it makes you feel. So even if you see the shadow of the person changing, like you're like, oh, crap, like he's changing. We don't have to see that in the way that like it's so vivid, you know? So I think that's what really impressed me the most is that you're going back to the roots of that and adding your own vision to it. And I think Michael Aquino did a great job with that. But, you know, there it was violent. There was blood splattering on the camera. And I think that it was really cool how he did that. It was really sick. And you just see the door closing, the light escaping the frame, and it fades 
you know, to block and he's still in there and things are still happening. And I thought that that brought another level of suspense. I really liked that the editing kind of captured it like comic book would. There was a really extreme close up of Verusa, her eyes at one point, uh, Elsa's mother. And I thought that was really cool how that cut from you know, the werewolf inside the cage uh, harming her and you didn't really get to see it, but her eyes did it. Like those extreme close-ups, those choices, again, you don't have to see the violence for it to make an impact. And I think that's why it's so different. And it really worked. Again, cinematography, freaking top-notch, loved it. I gave Werewolf by Night a four out of five. I really enjoyed this. It is one of the best Marvel projects. And I want to see more of this world. I know Moon Knight kind of ties into it at one point. I don't know when he's coming, uh, but I, I would love to see some more Moon Knight. And I think that leaning into like Dracula and and uh, and werewolves and all of that, I think I think it's something special. And I'm waiting to see Blade. I'm waiting to see how all of this ties in. I know this is just a special presentation and it was for Spooktober. It was for Spooky Season. But this was great. Michael Yakino, thank you so much for putting yourself in the director's chair and having such a clear vision for this because I really enjoyed this. So guys, please let me know if you loved Werewolf by Night, if you want to see more of this type of lore from the MCU, who do you want to see next? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can always follow me over at AMX NDA Reviews on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. I'll catch you guys next time. Keep watching movies.